Elizabeth of the Trinity, OCD was a French mystic and a spiritual writer known for the depth of her spiritual growth as a discalced Carmelite. Her liturgical feast is celebrated every November 8. Elizabeth Cattas was born on 18 July 1880 at the military base at Avord in Cher as the first child of Captain Joseph Cattas and Marie Rowland. She was baptized at the camp's chapel on the following the 22nd of July. Unfortunately, her father died on October 2, 1887, and as a result, the family moved to Dijon. That same year, she made her first confession. Elizabeth had her first communion on April 19, 1891, at Saint-Michel, and her confirmation was at Notre Dame two months later. While she was said to have a bad temper, Elizabeth was known to be a very lively girl and a gifted pianist. She later gained more self-control and had a deeper understanding of God and the world. She also gained a profound understanding of the Trinity to which she cultivated an ardent devotion. Elizabeth visited the sick, sang in the church choir, and taught religion to children who worked in factories. As she grew older, she became interested in entering the discalced Carmelite order. It is said that men had asked for Elizabeth's hand in marriage. She declined all offers. On 2 August 1901, she joined the discalced Carmelite and stayed at the Dijon Carmel which was located 200 meters from her home. She completed her novitiate and took her final vows in 1903. Her stay in the convent had both high and low times, writing about when she felt she needed a richer understanding of God's great love. She began to call herself, Madame Gloria. Elizabeth wanted that to be her appellation in heaven because it means, praise of glory. Elizabeth said, I think that in heaven, my mission will be to draw souls by helping them to go out of themselves to cling to God by a holy simple and loving movement, and to keep them in this great silence which will allow God to communicate himself to them and to transform them into himself. Her spirituality is considered to be remarkably similar to that of her contemporary and compatriot discalced Carmelite sister, Therese of Lysia, who was cloistered at the Carmel in Lysia. The two share a zeal for contemplation and the salvation of souls. Elizabeth died of Addison's disease which had no cure at the young age of 26. Though her death was painful, she accepted her suffering as a gift from God. Her last words were, I am going to light, to love, to life. Her beatification process started in 1931 and lasted a decade. A second process led to her being bestowed the title of Servant of God on 25 October 1961. After an extensive investigation, on 12 July 1982, she was made venerable after Pope John Paul II acknowledged the fact that she had lived a full life of heroic virtue. Pope Francis approved her canonization as a saint. On 16 October 2016, St. Elizabeth's canonization was celebrated. For more information about every saints and their feast day, please like and subscribe to our channel, House of Prayers for Everyone.